Yeah, this one is the rim lock, right? Yeah, rim, rim lock. lock. This, this is more traditional style. And I, I'm not pretty sure are you guys are using this type of steel or not. But this one is uh, quite complete function. For example, you can use a card to unlock and also with a fingerprint, uh, sorry, with a fingerprint and the password. Yes. And also you can use a physical uh, keys to unlock it. Yeah. This type of lock are quite uh, <coughs> competitive and affordable for the users. So you can easily uh, change your uh, traditional locks with a smart one. Okay. That's another competitive price choice. Yeah, this one is, it looks very strong for this one. So you can easily use a password to unlock and also with the physical keys uh, on the bottom to unlock the door. This one is also very um, entry level price competitive. For the hotel use, the smart hotels or smart apartment. Yeah, smart hotel, smart apartment, just sending the code for lock and unlock. And all these other smart locks are available for replacement. Mm -hmm. And next, that's a retrofit lock. Yeah, this one is more for um, like you would like to keep the original lock and just to upgrade to into smart with an accessory. So on um, this part, this device, as you can see, we have a knob, so you can put yeah on the top of the of the knob part to make the locks uh, to be smart. And this one is for the indoors. Okay, this is for outdoor, and you can use the app to unlock it. So in the in the future, we we also. Uh, we also have the this accessory is on the development, so you can stick on on the on the on the door uh, with a password to unlock it. If you forget, for example, forget the the phone. Yes, we can show the uh, use our smartphone to press to unlock it or lock it. Then it will locked, and I also can. Press to unlock it. It's magic. <laughs> yes. yes. So what's next? This key box. This key box. Okay. All right. Lock then, box. Then work for me. Yes, but work for me. Okay. So you can put the keys inside the box, or some other items you prefer, and you can hand. To somewhere you, you want, so you you can you don't need to hurry back to your home to unlock the door for someone some guest. Yes, it's very popular in Airbnb host. Yes, if you are a landlord, you can put in a small gift for your yeah for yeah. your your guest. Yes. Yeah, small gift. So this is a padlock. We already explained. We have different size and style. This two just for your reference. So. Yeah, like during traveling, you can use it for lock the bag, lock the luggage. Very convenient. And then you can use a USB to charge it when the battery is dead. The so different size for you to choose. This, is, this can be very, quite popular because this is a huge market before. And now we also have the, this kind of products on Toya platform. I think that's all. And uh, Let's discuss about how to choose a lock, right? How to choose a lock because the, the lock types are different. Yes. Right? You mentioned that there is a multi lock that both and <coughs> well, those type of lock type is ring lock. It's the inside of your door. And that one we call the that bolt is the standard lock in most of America and Latin American countries. They call the dead bolt. Well, this part, maybe we can also explain to them about how to choose this type, right? Yes, it's a lever handle lock. And that is a knob with a small type of the lock bodies. 
So if, if you just has this one, you can choose that type of smart lock. And this one is different? Or this one is the same. This one is the same. Oh, this With is different. handle. Yes, this is more right. traditional. Yes. Okay. So uh, basically, this uh, the whole products we introduced today about smart locks. I hope it help you. Uh, it can help you to choose the right lock. And uh, with the experience in, in China and uh, even in the US, so the smart lock is quite promising in the future. So we do believe, and also according to the data, in North America and Latin America, even for uh, like uh, Africa or Middle East, the locks requirement is increasing a lot. So it's quite important for the security area. So it's an important category. So let's come back. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Odu and Gerda, and also Diego, and the product first. <laughs> it seems too long. Yes. Time, yes. Uh, because the, the security is really a huge range. We were planning to have one web to carry, to cover full categories of the products, but really too, much, too many. So we choose smart lock and smart lock, smart lock and the cameras first. And next part, uh, next webinar, we are going to introduce about the alarm sensors and the security source part. So we'll add more and more for the security. Yes. Um, so uh, I hope all of you enjoy today and it's many, many knowledge for you. <laughs> many think, items. Yeah. So do you have any questions to ask Audrey, Gavin, or uh, Diego? Okay, Edgar asked about the provision. Sure, all of you, you can contact your account manager for the uh, provision. Yes, sure. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ken. And uh, many of you asked about the AI hub, AI hub just now. I want to explain it again that it's still in development and we will keep you updated. Okay. Ernesto asked about when are you planning the next webinar to be held? Uh, it's possibly will be held uh, in two weeks. So the same time of July 23rd, I think. And we will send you the invitation when we finally decided the date. And Luis asked about, uh, do we have plans for use the wave in the future? The wave? Yeah, okay. Uh, here I heard that we have contact with the wave lines, but it seems we are not planned to develop it in short time. Hope in the future. Okay, uh, Caesar asked that the smart lock can be locked from inside to prevent child exiting the house. Yes, uh, we support the lock from inside yeah. and we can see the st status from the app. Oh, Whether I can, yes. If, if the door lock is open or closed, okay. And we can check the status. Okay. Mm, does the smart lock app has any cost? Anyone asked. Uh, cost for the small lock app? Mm, is it the, 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 the separate app? I, I think it's the same app. And again, it's the same app yeah. with uh, your current one. So no extra cost. To customize? To customize for which part? Sorry. <coughs> uh, for, the, for the small lock app, I think he asked. Uh, yeah. The app itself is the same. You mean the interface, the control interface? And we have the uh, UI interface of SDKs. That means you can customize your own mm -hmm. sculptures of the app. We support it, the customer minds. Oh, so okay. If, yeah, Great. if the end user want to have their own logo. The interface, possible? can we change to sure. other features? No, I mean for the end user, not for the oh, brand. No, for the brand. Right? For the brand, okay. Yes. The user can oh, change okay. the right. So uh, you can choose the logo of the lock of the control interface 
but this function is not open for the end user. So the end user, they cannot choose to change the logo on pictures. Okay, Jeremy asked about the catalog. Uh, do you mean cameras or door locks or both? Because Hi, normally this we, our catalog is more about functions plan because uh, the hardware can be very different because the yeah. different suppliers they will develop the hardware by themselves. And joining jo just the uh, input uh, website expo.tuya.com, you can see lots of products on that website too. Yes, we uh, started the online expo uh, a few months ago. So if you are not sure or you are looking for some options for the hardware, you can go to that website, expo.tuya.com, to find many more products and new, new stuff. And also we have different, uh, different websites for different countries you can visit to find some hot selling categories and some, even some promotion activities sometimes for them. Yes, and Philip asked the question, uh, the difference between Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and ZigBee. I think we have answered that question <laughs> many times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. We can we can yeah. explain again. Yes. Hi, hi. This is Sergio from from John Avi. We have the picture. I find out that uh, in every webinar, the, the audience will ask this question every time. <laughs> Hi, can I ask you a question? This picture shows the difference between the Wi-Fi, CB, and Bluetooth. If you buy a Wi-Fi smart lock, it means uh, you don't have to buy other any gateways or hubs. Just your Wi-Fi routers, your smartphone, and the smart lock will make you have the smart lock features. Uh, so it is more suitable for their home use, but is some of the consumers used to use Bluetooth. So we have the Bluetooth one. If you buy a Bluetooth lock, and you can add a Bluetooth gateway, then you can um, get a re remote on controls, like you can unlock anywhere, anytime of your doors. If you walk outside or visit outside, you also can uh, bring the remote unlock for your friends uh, in front of the door. That the uh, that means the unlock the remote unlock is operate under the Bluetooth Wi-Fi hub. The Bluetooth hub. Which one is more reliable? Both of them has the standard of the encryptions, so all of them are safe and stable. Yeah, Bluetooth is easier if you don't have a hub. You can still control through yes. that, right? But Zigbee, you have to have a hub. Hub. Okay. If yes. you uh, so, the difference is about the remote control. Yes. If you want control. to remote control, you need to buy a Zigbee gateway or a Bluetooth gateway. Yeah. Uh, if you just to uh, control locally, the smart lock, yeah. uh, locally so with the limited dis distance about 10, min 10 meters, you can use the Bluetooth to unlock your door mm -hmm. to get uh, notifications. Yes, and I think we, uh, our manufacturers are developing the products with, within a Zigbee gateway or Bluetooth gateway, right? Yes. yes. We have many choice for the one, and one smart lock. It has a different choice. Yes. Okay. And Jeremy asked about the catalogs for both cameras and locks. So Jeremy, you can um, go, go on the website, the uh, journey that's put, uh, put in just now, expo.tuya.com. You can see many products online. Yeah, the expo.tuya.com can be a very useful platform for you in a short term and long term because uh, in the, in the, by now, more and more suppliers they are uploading more and more products every month. So you can use as a reference for products to find out what, what is new over there. And you can contact some of the high quality factories directly on it, I think, right? Yes, part of the factories you can contact directly. Yes. 
or you can simply send a link to uh, your account manager so we can find out who the supplier and make the connection. And um, if you have questions, you can also unmute yourself. Yeah, you can talk free, no problem. Hi. Hi, this is Sergio from Jonavi. Uh, I just would like to ask you a question about Alexa and opening the door. So you, you showed us a video about using Alexa in a pin okay. code, right? Um, okay, we have spent over two hours together. So I think it's for us to go bed and it's for you to have lunch, maybe. So let's call it a day and see you in two weeks, I think. Let's talk about sensors, alarms, and uh, security SARS next time, okay? See you there. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you next time.